Hello everybody, this is my follow-up video on the last video which was about the anatomy of a parabola and, and just kind of a general definition of what it is in terms of like say a conic section as opposed to our typical you know algebra 1, algebra 2 definition of it but um, anyways uh, this video will we'll kind of discuss about how to graph parabolas okay and uh, not just in a vertical sense that is opening up or down use uh, but uh, sideways use so like opening to the right or opening to the left but uh, I think it's important that we start this conversation with talking about the standard form, the standard form for how we write the equation of a parabola. So we say standard form for the equation of a parabola. Now, uh, sometimes we have parabolas, uh, their equations, and they're not quite in standard form. We're going to have to do some manipulation, but I'm just going to kind of start with, with the manipulated form so that it's already kind of in a nice form. Other people refer to this as vertex form, and, and the reason why we do so is because it gives us uh, where the vertex is. So let's start with this. So we say um, we say uh, uh, parabolas that open open up or down. Okay. We say that its its standard form looks like this. We have x minus h um, squared is equal to four p times y minus k. Okay. And also this. We say for parabolas that open sideways. So that is they open to the right or left, okay? I should be drawing U's there. But anyways, parabolas that do so, they actually proceed in this manner, and, and, and they look like this. They say Y minus K squared, quantity squared, is equal to 4P um, X minus H. Now, I think it's always kind of good to, to do some compare and contrast when you look at things of this nature, but we say uh, a few things we want to notice about parabolas that open up or down. You're going to notice that this quantity on the left here, this, this quantity squared is X minus H, um, and even if you go down here with the parabolas that open left and right, you're going to notice that this h value is always kind of kind of paired with x. So, so it's important to know that h is always kind of paired with x, and that uh, k, k is always kind of paired with, I'm trying to fix my h here, k is always paired with y. Okay. In both instances, we see that the thing on the right here is not actually been squared. So we say... Um, you know, if, if, if we have a thing in which the, the x minus h quantity be, has been squared, we have something that uh, opens up or down. But uh, this thing on the left here that's been squared, if it's the y quantity with the k has been squared, then we say it opens left or right. And the thing on the right has not been squared. And last but not least, you'll notice here that we have this, this quantity out front here, this coefficient of x minus h and y minus k here um, on the right. But fact of the matter is that... Uh, is that we, we see that this is 4p in both instances. And p, if you watched the last video, you'll know is the directed distance from the focus of a parabola to its vertex. So let's go ahead and do a quick review here. But we say every, every uh, parabola is defined as a set of points or a locus of points such that these points are uh, from this line here we call the directrix, the directrix, okay? Um, and this point here, the focus, we say it's the set of all points, x and y, that are the same distance from the focus to, to that point as they are from that point to the directrix. So uh, always noting that the, the, uh, the vertex is the midpoint of, of these two things, the, the focus and the directrix. So we say this is a rough picture of what this parabola might look like, this, this locus of points. Um, but the fact of the matter is, since this is a parabola that would open, say, up in this instance, two things I can tell you are, one, we're dealing with something that is of this form, this first form over here in which x minus h, that quantity is squared. And two, two uh, that uh, p in this instance, remember p was the distance, the directed distance from the focus to the prab or the, to the vertex. Um, but p in this case must have been positive as the focus was above the, the vertex here. So p is, again, it's just this distance here from the focus to the, to the vertex of the parabola. And that's that, this quantity p we're talking about over here. You notice that I, you know, h and k, they pop up over here. Uh, something I want to tell you about h and k is, is this. h and k are necessarily the, the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. It's just that whatever you see over here, and I'm not saying that they're liars, but I typically say, okay, so they lie. Uh, but be, because of this, if let's say we saw an equation x minus 3 squared is equal to 4p, um, this is y plus 1. The fact of the matter is this. One might be inclined to say, okay, so h is always with our x, and k is always with our, our quantity y over here, and p is this 
directed distance. Uh, but, but you're going to notice this, and I didn't fill in a P this time, but this, we say the vertex of this actually lies at positive 3 comma negative 1. So whatever it is that you're seeing is going on here with your X and, and your Y or H and K respectively, just know that they, they kind of seem backwards than what they look like here. And they aren't really backwards, but um, I don't really want to go into that in this video. It's just because of the negative sign over here in the formula. Okay, so, so here's the thing about it. We often, when we graph parabolas, we just want to find, hey, where does the vertex lie and what is the value of P? If we have these things, then we're in very good shape. Also, you know, what is the orientation of our parabola? Does it open up or down or does it open left or right? Okay, so we're going to start with a really simple equation here, but uh, let's go ahead and start with this parabola right here. We're going to graph this. We say Y is equal to one half x squared. Now a few things I want you to notice about this. We say, okay, this is in either one of these two forms here, and, and of course we wouldn't need to do this definition to graph this parabola, uh, but we, we know some things about this just because we see simple equations like this all the time. For example, we, we typically in the past call this our a value, but since a is positive, this sucker opens up uh, into the air, okay? And, and also that the vertex of this actually is at the origin. But I want to talk about the reasons why, okay? And for the, for the first part, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take the, the squared quantity, which is our x here, and I'm going to place it on the left. But the reason why is because I want to get used to this definition over here in which the squared quantity is on the left and the non-squared quantity or the linear quantity is on the right. I also want to take the time to do this. You're going to notice here that we have a one-half in front of this here. Uh, and, and when we talked about the squared quantity on the left over here, you'll notice that there, there was no real quantity in front of this, or the, the coefficient of one is 1. So what I want to do is I actually want to eliminate this, this 1 half over here, multiply by half. So we'll divide by half, or, or we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal here, times 2 over 1. Just doing some manipulation, but what you're going to see here is that those take the time to cancel out over here, and so we have x squared is equal to 2y. Now things are just getting better, but what I want you to see also is this. We're lacking now this H and K quantity that typically accompany our X and Y. But the reason why, and, and you notice, remember, H and K is our vertex, but our vertex here is at the origin, which would necessarily imply that H and K are 0 and 0, respectively. But here's the reason why, okay? If we were to just put these back in here, we say uh, X minus 0 squared is equal to 2, and I'm going to exclude that 2, 2 y minus 0. If we were to now go ahead and foil this out over here on the left and distribute our, our 2 over here, we would just go ahead and yield this equation anyways. But the beauty of this is now you'll see we have the squared quantity on the left, the linear quantity on the right. We've obtained h and k respectively. Of course, h being with our x value and, and k accompanying our y. And this now. You're going to notice that previously we had referred to this as being the quantity for p. Now, p is a very important number in that it's the directed distance from the focus back to the vertex. We need to know this distance right here for two reasons. One, it'll, it'll imply which way our vertex opens up or down. And of course, in this case, we know our, our vertex, or our parabola, excuse me, is going to open up. But also this, we need to know how far away is the focus from the vertex. So in this case, we say 4p is equal to 2. Off to the side here, we're going to go ahead and write that. We say 4p is 2, which necessarily implies that, dividing both sides by 4, that is, that uh, p is actually equal to positive a half. So let's, let's do some things here. Our major ambitions were, first of all, to find the vertex of this parabola. So we found the vertex of this parabola is at h and k. And, and simply looking at this over here, we could say that the vertex here, the vertex must be at 0, 0, because h and k uh, were 0 and 0, respectively. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and draw our vertex in. The next thing we're going to take the time to do here, we might as well label this. The next thing we're going to take the time to do here is draw on the focus. Now. We had determined that P was positive one half, which would necessarily imply that the focus, if we call this one, is one half units above, above the vertex. So we can actually get away with labeling this as well. It has the same x value since it lies on this axis here. And we say one half more than zero would just be a half. Pardon me. Now, also we know that the vertex is the midpoint of the focus and the directrix. So what this allows us to do now is actually find not even not just the equation of the directrix, but its orientation. It is a horizontal directrix, since this opens up, and it is at the line y equals, y equals negative a half, since this is the same distance below uh, the, the vertex as the focus was above. Okay? Now that we know this, what we can do is we can safely just draw in our parabola right here. Dun, da, da, da. And it looks beautiful. But notice we got all this from the standard form 
of the equation of a parabola. And in the next video, we'll, we'll do an example in which our parabola opens sideways.